Hello and welcome to Scouting at Home for Cub Scouts. My name is Koala and today we're going to learn some secret codes. Codes have been used for hundreds of years for lots of different reasons. Thousands of years ago the Egyptians used hieroglyphics and codes have been used throughout World Wars 1 and 2 to transmit secret information. A code that is still commonly used is the phonetic alphabet, which we use when we're talking on the radio so that we don't get our letters mixed up. So the first type of code that we're going to be looking at was really popular during World War II, and it's called Morse code. Morse code is where we convert letters and numbers into a series of dots and dashes. It can be used in lots of different scenarios because we can send a message using sound, or we can use light, or it can be written. The second type of code that we're going to be learning is called the phonetic alphabet, which we use when we're talking on the radio, or pilots flying airplanes, or sometimes if we're just on the phone. Because if you think about it, M sounds just like N, and C sounds like P, sounds like D, so it just helps make sure that we don't get our letters confused that sound the same. The phonetic alphabet works by using a word to represent a letter. And the word always starts with the letter that it represents. So for example, cubs would be Charlie, Uniform, Bravo, Sierra. So, we have sent you a secret message in Morse code. See if you can decipher it. Then, respond to the message using the phonetic alphabet. Don't worry, you can use the Morse code and phonetic alphabet charts to help you. So once you've figured out the secret message and you've coded your answer, see if you can have a conversation with a family member using one of these codes. You can even create your own secret code just for your family to use. So Golf, Oscar, Oscar, Delta, Lima, Uniform, Charlie, Kilo. Good hunting pack.